We wish to reward individuals who provide services to mankind. One of the ways that is done is by ensuring that people who create breakthroughs, who create wealth, receive a reward for that. Ensuring that that happens in large institutions is called the residual claimant challenge, and we'll talk about that today. Residual claimant is a term in economics that suggests that when some decision is made that is successful, that the individual or the individuals responsible for that breakthrough receive rewards. They'll naturally receive professional rewards, a sense of achievement, but often economics can matter too. A large corporation, a large institution of any kind, will have subgroups within it who will have these creative individuals. The challenge of management is to find an incentive structure that ensures that those individuals who do make the productive breakthroughs, the entrepreneurial successes that make it possible for the company, for the institution, for our society to do better, are rewarded appropriately. How does one do that? Well, you can have, in a private company, you can have a percent of the return. You can have intellectual property rights awarded to the breakthrough inventor. You can uh, give them a share of the company, a share of the stocks. There are an incredible array of creative ways of rewarding the individual who achieves these. And of course, you then encourage the more creative talents in your company. In larger institutions, this is more complicated because there will be a team, a committee, and rewarding a committee for doing better would be like rewarding the whole team for the quarterback success. Not the best way to get the kind of performance you're looking for in a sporting event or in an economic activity. And in political institutions, the problem becomes even greater. How does one reward a civil service whose salary structure is dictated by law? Very, very difficult. You can, of course, give them a bonus within limits. You can give them reward the federal employee of the year, the state employee of the year. That can be helpful, but the ability to fine tune that with economic rewards is restricted. That's one of the reasons one finds that political institutions, larger institutions, are often not as creative as a smaller entrepreneurial individual C oriented firm. The residual claimant problem is one of the things we have to think about when we decide whether government or big business can do the job as well as the entrepreneurial small business which is the growth engine of the United States. The residual claimant analysis suggests it's not very likely we should think very carefully before we regard, regard rewarding an individual for achievement as something that is somehow wrong. Right.